second major of the year takes center stage starting on today as the 114th U.S. Open. It tees off at Pinehurst Resort and Country Club in North Carolina. Peter Jacobson has won seven times on the PGA Tour, including the U.S. Open senior title in 2004. A true ambassador of the game, Peter joins us this morning. Peter, good morning. Hey, good morning, Stephanie. It's a beautiful day here at Pinehurst. Uh, overcast, cloudy, but... <laughs> But very warm and uh, good, good golf weather. It looks like it. We here in Southwest Florida have uh, good golf, golf weather. You are said you're familiar with Southwest Florida too, though. Yes, I live right down below you in Bonita Springs. <laughs> Been there for about ten years and love when I get home and have a chance to get out there on the golf course. We have a lot of great golf courses and golf fans right there in that Fort Myers, Naples area. We do have a huge fan base here, which is uh, one of the many reasons why we're excited to talk to you about uh, golf today. With Tiger Woods on the sideline for the second major, are the young guys on the tour your favorites, uh, would you say, maybe in your eyes? Well, there are three or four guys that I've got my eye on, and, and they're very talented, and they're very, uh, they're, they almost seem like they've got the experience of a 40-year-old 40, 40 veteran. Players like Hideki Matsuyama from Japan, Jordan Spieth out of Dallas, and Harris English. These guys are the, the young guns to watch in the world of golf today. And what among the many veterans in the field do you think has the best game for the course, maybe? Well, the guys that I'm looking at are the ones that have the experience, the patience to be able to handle the golf course. Guys like Jim Furyk, Adam Scott, Matt Kuchar, Zach Johnson, Keegan Bradley. These guys have been out here quite a bit. They've won major championships before. But the most important thing here at Piners is to change your mindset. This is not going to be a birdie fest. You're not going to have a lot of birdies in your round, maybe two or three a day. But you've got to have patience. You've got to make pars. And I think that's where the, the veterans' experience is really going to help. And, Peter, a recent survey asked fans what they thought was the greatest moment in U.S. history. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? It seems like there would be uh, so many uh, things to choose from. It'd be hard. Yeah, it's really hard. And thanks to Lexus, which is the automotive partner of the USGA and the official vehicle here this week at the U.S. Open, they had an online survey to ask fans their favorite moment in U.S. Open history. And as you pointed out, there's a lot to choose from. But the fans chose the 2008 U.S. Open when Tiger Woods made the putt on the 72nd hole to tie Rocco Median. They went into a playoff. Tiger won. And if you re remember, he had that damaged left knee, which he had to have his ACL replaced. So pretty good for Tiger Woods to win the U.S. Open on a damaged knee. And thanks to Lexus for running that survey. That's pretty incredible. So as far as this Sunday, who do you see posing with the trophy? Any ideas? Have you been uh, putting a lot of thought into that? Yeah, I have uh, been going back and forth between Jordan Spieth and Jim Furyk, a former Open champ. I'm going to go with Jim Furyk simply because of the experience. Okay, well, one to keep our eyes on. Uh, how about uh, before we go here, I know uh, you, uh, you live here in Southwest Florida, have a place here. Any favorite courses that uh, any golf lovers out there should go out and try? Yeah, I, I uh, hey, I built a golf course down on Marco called Hammock Bay. Uh, so go, go check that one out. It's one of my favorites. All right, we're heading out there. It was great having you on the show. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. For more information, you can just log on to our website. Go to fox4morningblend.com. We will have one last look at today's Fox forecast, and then we'll be right back.